everybody, welcome to Gravity World's Two Minute Tuesdays, where we talk all things tech in bite-sized chunks. Today, we're gonna to talk about GraphQL, and what it is and why it's great. GraphQL is a query language that allows you to describe your data. GraphQL isn't a simple bullet though, so let's quickly go over the cons. It's generally hard to fix complex data structures from GraphQL, as the backend code is much more complex, having to write re reducers for each of these pieces of data. There are services out there to help you like AppSync and Prisma. Because you're only hitting a single endpoint, it's, it is much harder to monitor these endpoints. You can track your resolvers with tools like Apollo Engine, but this does mean that you have to upload all your data, which isn't necessarily the best thing. Also, Gra GraphQL is pretty new, so it's still they're still trying to figure out what the best practices are. So things do change, uh, but that's definitely not a reason not to use it. Now onto the pros. One of the main pros is that you don't have to over or under fetch data, which is often the case with REST. You subscribe to the data, the exact data that you want. There's no need to version your endpoints either. As long as you're clever with the way you rewrite your schemas, people using old or new versions of your code should be able to receive the data they need without any breakages. And lastly, the type system. We love TypeScript here and GraphQL is no different. It being typed means that you eradicate some of those silly errors that you make by asking for data that doesn't exist. Uh, and due to the type system as well, it's also self-documenting. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. GraphQL uh, is great and you should use it for your next project.